Hey, what's up? If we haven't met, my name is KB and I am an Aveda Fredericks Institute graduate or alumni. Um, I went there back in 2017, 2018 and was also um, honored to be a Beacon winner in 2018. And I am really here to kind of give you guys the tips and tricks and tools um, to become a Beacon winner yourself because Beacon definitely changed my career and really propelled me. Um, it was kind of like the jump start, if you will, to where I'm at right now. I currently am the creative director for two salons in the Cincinnati area. I've worked in Chicago. I've worked on editorials all over the US. I've done hair in Budapest. Um, I've had lots of opportunities come my way in my career. And I really attribute a lot of the jumpstart part, the, the beginning part to Beacon. And I literally ran into a woman there that offered me a job in Chicago, to which I moved then six weeks later and worked for her. It was an amazing experience. I got so much education. And I think if you really have a desire to make a lot of money, to be really successful, to be well respected, and get a lot of opportunities, this is the thing that you need to step into and say yes to. So, as a part of the components you're building for this application process, is your digital resume slash like your Canvas Me portfolio. So, I am actually now in my career, I'm actually a Beacon judge. So it's really fun to be able to see a plethora of what is being entered. And I will tell you that we see a lot of variety of things that are really well done and things that are not. And obviously the things that are not well done are not passed through the judging process. So keep in mind, if you try really hard and make things really beautiful, you will get pushed along in that judging process but I'm gonna give you a few key tips that will help you make sure you're setting yourself apart. Okay, one, I really want to see a picture of you because you don't get a lot of opportunity to connect personally with like the person I'm judging. So I wanna see as many pictures of them, get as much of their personality as I possibly can. And so I definitely take notice when I see a picture of them that's clear and a nice smiling photograph um, and it doesn't have to be like super high resolution or anything like that. Someone just have someone at school, either a student or a teacher, take a nice picture of you on a day that you have a good makeup face, um, on a blank background that kind of goes along with your theme, wearing a cute outfit, whatever. The other thing is I want to know how to contact you and I don't want it to be, I don't want to feel like I have to look for places to contact you. I want a phone number, an email address, an Instagram handle. And just the general location of where you're located. Are you in the Midwest? Are you in California? Are you in New York? Are you in the South? I want to know city and then your Instagram handle, phone number, and email address um, listed very clearly um, on the resume. And then the next thing I look for is a mission or an objective. I want to know your why. So for me personally, my personal mission statement has always been to empower people with confidence through beauty and wellness. So I want to know, are you here to care for people, provide for people, connect with people, celebrate people, elevate people, empower people? What is your why? And I want to see that like power word and then you can follow it with like celebrating individuality through beauty or um, transforming someone from the inside out one appointment at a time or to care for each person as an individual um, holistically. Like think of something that's like a powerful short statement that you can add that really gives your whole world a mission or a focus. Then next thing that I'm gonna look for is I wanna know where you've worked. And I know a lot of you are like, well, I haven't worked in the beauty industry. How are they going to judge me? And I really don't wanna see that you've worked in the beauty industry necessarily. You could easily put that you've worked at McDonald's, if that's, I mean, make it real. But like, if you've worked at McDonald's, and then I wanna see outlined, what are key things, key things that were a part of your role? So, and relate them back to the beauty industry. So if you worked at McDonald's as a cashier, you could put that you smile to make or welcomed um, each guest with a smile because you would do the same thing in the beauty industry. You could say that you learned to use a POS cash system, which you're going to use in the beauty industry. You could say that you maintained a clean space, which you also do in the beauty industry. So try to think of key elements of the jobs that you have had and 
put key responsibilities that will relate to what you're going to be doing in your future career um, as a hairstylist or as a spa provider or really in any capacity within a salon. Um, and then next, I always want to know your schooling. So obviously where you go to school, um, when you started school and you're like estimated. So you could put like, I started January of 2022, estimated graduation date, February 23. So it doesn't have to be an exact date, just like a good estimation. So the employers know when you're available um, or when they can start looking at the hiring process, right? So, and then next, I'm gonna want to know um, in that education bubble, what sets you apart from other students in your school? Is it your GPA? Have you had good attendance? Have you been a mentor or had some sort of special thing that you've done or event that you've been a part of? Put all of that under your schooling and have two or three things. Um, let's me know that you're dedicated to school and you're also, um, really serious about like doing it really well um and then i would say the next thing is i want to know your skill set because you could just say that you're a hairdresser but then i kind of assume you're just like a generalist and you kind of do everything but i want to know where is your specialty lie are you a bridal stylist do you like short precision cuts do you like blonding are you good at social media? So I would look for a small column, maybe in like a sidebar that says skills or expertise. And then under that, I would expect two or three things that would say maybe blonding, bridal, social media, or braiding, precision cuts, fashion colors. Think of something interesting that sets you apart from other students of what you're good at. Uh, or for spa providers, it could be skin analysis, facials, back facials, um, things like that. So think of what sets you apart. And then um, I also kind of want to have some references of where you, who I could contact if I was like, hey, I want to know about this person. Can you give me some insight? And so I want you to think about that. It could be um, an educator or a mentor that you've had. It could be um, someone at the school probably writes these for you um, or can be used as a reference on your portfolio and think of any professional um, people. It could be like a sports coach, could be a past job, um, either leader or manager, something like that. So, and then finally, y'all are artists. So seeing a blank piece of paper with just printed words in a Helvetica font does not catch my eye. I probably glance over those resumes in less than 60 seconds and kind of pass them on unless it's like really amazing. The easiest way to catch my eye is to personalize it. I want to see, like I said, your picture. I want to see some color. I want to see it to be interesting and engaging. And so some people I've seen them do like a sidebar on their resume. Some people I've seen ads like pops of color based on your like personal kind of brand. Um, so think about things that are going to make your resume stand out from the rest is really the things that I look for. The last thing I wanted to tell you is I'm here for you. You can DM me on Instagram. You can email me. Um, I can give you my phone number if you want to FaceTime. Um, I am here to help you in any capacity that I can because I know that if you work hard and you do this well, you will be selected. But I also know that it takes hard work and sometimes you kind of lose direction a little bit and I'm here to help you with that. Every student that I've ever mentored through this process has actually won and I'm so, so proud of that. So if you have any questions or want even someone to look over everything for you before you submit it, I would be more than happy to look at everything that you send me um, or answer just any questions um, that you would have. And I will be back more um, with more tips in the future for you. So much love. Have a great time.